Hello there, everyone. Uh, greetings there again. Um, I'm going to basically uh, just, just uh, do a quick preaching uh, today. I am, uh, you know, uh, just expanding on the message that I posted on my uh, Facebook account. And uh, so uh, the message I posted today. So I'm here to feed the sheep and not the goats. Stand up against and oppose that which is evil. You know, if you stand up against and against and oppose that which is evil, wicked or lawless, and you know, you'll get blocked by people. Okay, you know, stand up against and oppose that which is evil, wicked or lawless, and you will get blocked by people, including Christians, on Facebook and other social media. Okay? Understand that. If you love people, you will find that you are deleted from people's lives. Not everyone loves truth. Not everyone wants to hear truth either. Understand that. Okay? Not everyone will take a stand against injustice or that which is evil or wicked or lawless or that which is oppressive either. Just remember, a nation of sheep will soon have a government of wolves. Okay? I mean, the bottom line is, when the righteous are in power, a nation rejoices. But when the wicked are in power, th the nation mourns. This is Proverbs. Okay? Fast and pray, dear, dear Christian. Fast and pray. I'm not talking about skipping a meal or two, but a fast of one day, 25 and a half hours or longer. God is not fatalistic. Some things come to pass because of our inaction, our lack of prayer and our lack of care and love for others. Prophecies can be fulfilled because of inaction. God can see that there will be that there will come a time when his people will not care and the love of many will wax cold. We must love God first and foremost and love our neighbors as ourselves. You know, got to do the golden rule. Do unto others as, as you would have others do unto you. Okay? We must love truth also. Okay? So the, the Bible says to buy the truth and uh, sell it not. We must love truth also and refuse to let it go. Okay? God still does hear and answer our prayers. Prayer still does change things and prayer and fasting is powerful. It is not vain to mourn before the Lord. Our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, can still deliver his people out of the hand of the wicked. Speak the truth and post the truth online, whether they hate you, unfriend you, or block you, or and speak evil of you, okay? Continue in the truth and continue to speak the truth and continue to post the truth online. Do not give up, okay? Be faithful in the little things and God will reward you openly. It says also in the Bible clearly, He that honors me, I will honor, saith the Lord. Okay? So let's enjoy God's honor. Okay? Let, let's honor Him. Okay? Let's honor the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's honor God. Pray for deliverance and pray to be delivered from strong delusions and pray also to be delivered from lying lips and a deceitful tongue. Pray to be delivered out of the hand of the fowler and that your enemies would not triumph over you, but that the Lord would triumph over them who are your enemies, that he, the Lord, would receive glory and honor, praise and thanksgiving. Pray also for protection and pray for wisdom and understanding. Pray for a wise and discerning heart. Pray also for revival to spring forth in your neighborhood and your city and land. 
Just because things are getting worse does not mean we are to give up. We are to war God's way, not our way. For the Holy Bible clearly says, Not by might, nor by power, but by my Spirit, saith the Lord. Jesus Christ is still on his throne. Our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, can very effectively and powerfully intervene on our behalf, and if you pray for your neighborhood, city and nation can deliver it also. Okay, God is able to deliver your neighborhood, your family, your city, your nation, your neighbors. Sodom would not have been destroyed if there had been just ten righteous people within her walls. Forgive those whom have trespassed against you, or done evil toward you, towards you, or gossiped or slandered you, slandered you, and ask the Lord Jesus to take revenge. Leave things in God's hands. Let the Lord take care of it. Okay? Do not take revenge. For vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Okay? Now, I also wanted to read from 3 John. Okay? Because it sort of ties into what I just talked about, okay? And we're talking only one chapter because 3 John is just one chapter long. Okay, so we're reading from chapter 1, starting at verse 1. The elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Beloved, I wish above all things, okay? I wish above all things that thou pros may prosperous Okay, I'll start that one over. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to strangers, which have borne witness of thy charity before the church, whom, if thou bring forward on their journey after a godly sort, thou shalt do well, because that for his name's sake they went forth taking nothing of the Gentiles." We therefore ought to receive such that we might be fellow helpers to the truth. I wrote unto the church, But Diotrephes, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. Wherefore, if I come, I will remember. Okay? I will remember his deeds which he doeth, prating against us with malicious words, and not content therewith, Neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbiddeth them that would, and casteth them out of the church. Know anybody that's like that? Okay, let's go on to verse 11. Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. Demetrius hath a good report of all men, and of the truth itself. Yea, and we also bear a record, and ye know that our record is true. I had many things to write, but I will not with ink and pen write unto thee. But I trust I shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face. Peace be to thee. Our friends salute thee. Greet the friends by name. Third John. Okay, so in any case, that goes for today's post. All right, you have a really great day. Okay, God bless. And uh, I thank you very much for sharing my posts here on YouTube. I thank you for hitting the like button on my YouTube videos and on my Facebook posts. And I also thank you for sharing my Facebook posts as well. But I also thank you for uh, subscribing to, uh, you know, my uh, YouTube channel. 
I thank you in advance. And I also thank you very much for uh, you know, your uh, prayers. And I appreciate them very greatly. So you have a really great day there. And uh, I wish you well. And so uh, God bless. And uh, talk to you again another time. Bye.